Welcome back, guys. Okay, I, I'm totally addicted to this game. I was playing... <laughs> I thought, I'll just have a little play last night. I was playing for, oh, man, like, till four in the morning. Um, but, I, obviously, I, I couldn't run the game on. And I did run the game on a tiny bit, like, a couple of months. And look down here. We've got our first baby in the zoo. We've got a little baby aardvark. Kondo. And he's gold starred. Unbelievable. And look at him. He is staggeringly cute. Oh, look at the little tyke. <laughs> that is awesome. In this episode, what are we going to be doing? Um, I'm going to be doing uh, a little bit of building and decorating. But primarily, I want to get some breeding programs going. And we're going to be upgrading our animals big time. Here he goes again. Are you going to go in the water? Go on. He's having a sniff. He's, he's a, yes. He, oh, no, he's not. No, he's like, no, he's too cold. No. I want to go back to my mum and dad. <laughs> oh, man, that is so freaking amazing. Oh, God. God, I'm loving it. All right. Uh, let's get out of that. There's a few things that I need to uh, do and tell you about. So, first of all, um, maintaining your, uh, your barriers. Okay, and, and I want to thank everybody for all the tips they've been sending in. You know, actually, let me pause it for a second because there's, there's some stuff I need to show you. Um, I've gone around and done the other three, but I wanted to show you. So how do you get your, your barriers maintained regularly? Well, if you go into, where is it, into maintenance, and currently our mechanics are only visiting this once a year, right? Let's change that to every month. Every month, check the barriers and maintain them if they need it. Awesome. Right, now... A few things I wanted to show you. So animal welfare. I've been paying attention to the animal welfare and I've done a few things. So for example, down here, I've, Im I've improved this. I've, they had no climbing, uh, only this building, which was like a tiny amount. Uh, let me show you. Uh, where, where, the, uh, where are you? You're hiding down there. There you are, Ollie. Um, if we look at the, here we go. They needed a climbable area and they didn't have it. So um, so I've built them this, which actually I think turned out really nicely. So they've got a nice big thing to climb on. And uh, I decorated it out with a few a few palm trees around, the, around here and put some plants in and stuff. That's, that's very cool. And... Um, yeah, so so animal welfare has gone up like quite a lot. If we if we take a look at Oni, um, you can see his welfare is up to sixty seven percent now. What we need is enrichment. We'll talk about that in a second. Round um, round here, I didn't do much in the um, in the bed's tapia area. Oh, by oh, no, I've got it. Let me show you. If we go to the so um, our, ard, our our aardvark has uh, has been born, and our bed's tapia has conceived. Where are you? You over here. Yeah, here you are. Offspring due in July. Oh, so we're going to have a little baby tapir running around. <laughs> Brilliant. I thought I wanted to, I wanted to, the, the, the enclosures to look different. Um, and in the, in the aardvark enclosure, it was a little bit bare. So I put this, um, I put this elephant grass all around the outside to kind of cover up the fence. And then uh, put, just put a few rocks and a few nettles in. And... That looks pretty cool now. Quite like that. So, um, so it's coming together. But if we look at the, uh, if we look at the, uh, no, that's not what I wanted. If we look at the animal welfare, you'll see most of the animals are green. Uh, tapirs are fine. Uh, our aardvarks aren't, but we'll get back to that. Uh, but these guys, the African, the African dogs, um, the African wild dogs, uh, they are unhappy, and they're unhappy. Because, the, well, for, for one reason, they don't have enough um, enough space. And I can't give them any more space. So I'm thinking we may be going to get rid of them. Um, but it's, it's kind of weird that, like, it's a, it's 172, 100. I'm going to let, you know, I'm going to let this run on. It's 172, 100. But the social is 65. Like, why? Uh, I don't really get that. And... Um, 
the reason I was pausing it was because I wanted to show you. Let's, let's let's see if I can catch them before they leave. Uh, if we go to or we go to here again, if we look at uh, negative impacts on guests, look. These buildings are negative impacts, but oh, they've left now. We had some protesters. They've left very quickly because I've um, I fixed the animals that they were complaining about just by putting in the um, the, the the climbing area and a uh, couple a couple of other little things. Um, but yeah, so. But I'm not sure that we can make these African wild dogs happy. So we're going to be getting rid of the African wild dogs and we're going to put another animal in here. That you'll have to wait for. Uh, what else? Habitat. Uh, we don't need to look at temperature. It's a bit, it's a bit on the warm side. Might need to cool things down. Uh, water's all fine. Electricity's all fine. Building's fine. That was a negative impact. Guest education. We've got these areas educating the guests. I think that's okay for now. I'm going to leave that as it is. And uh, guest needs. They're all green. Everybody's very happy. So good news. Now over here, I was just trying out a little bit of building, and I've built myself a little um, chief beef from Gulpi. And I was thinking, I was thinking that we, we might put together uh, an information and balloon one like this. Because what I want to do, uh, eventually, let's go to paths for a second. Uh, I'm gonna, am I gonna let this, I'm gonna let this run on. I'm gonna let this run on. So what I wanted to do was crank this up to 10 meters again, and have a path coming out in this direction and one coming out in this direction and one coming out funnily enough have you, had you guessed it one coming out in this direction and I'm thinking what I might I might continue this this kind of circular thing what I, I'm going to adapt it but I'm going to use this idea of having circles and having the, the, the stuff in the center and whatever. But, but I've got different ideas to, to make it look different. So what I was thinking was that we could maybe um, take our Chief Beef and Gulpy and put it like by the sides of these. I thought that might be like kind of reasonable. Like maybe, maybe close to these. I'll leave a little bit of a gap. I thought we could maybe have a, a chief beef and a gulpy there, and then um, the information and balloons on the other side, and maybe a toilet block as well. So, should I duplicate that? Um, the problem is cash. Now, cash, fortunately, is just about going up, and it's going up largely because of our most appealing animal, the baby aardvark. That is awesome. But I want to improve things, and I really want to get breeding programs going. So last night, I did uh, did a little bit of trading. Now I had three hundred conservation points. I now have over fifty thousand. Now that's over fifty thousand, and I've got a load of animals, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, vet research is complete. Oh, we've discovered stuff for the aardvark. Hooray! Now, do I want to carry on with the aardvark? Now, I don't want to do the African wild dog. We've got some for the... We were up to level four on the tapir. We're up to level five on the lemur. We've got a little bit for the aardvark. No, I want you... I want us to switch to the ringtail... Uh, yeah, switch to the ringtail lemur. Because that's... We're going to be focusing on lemurs. Now, how can you improve the, the profitability that you're getting from animals like the lemurs? Well... If, if they like sharing an enclosure with other animals, having multiple animals in one enclosure will increase uh, people's willingness to donate. So let's, um, let's have a little bit of a look. If we go to the Zoopedia and we go down and we take a look at, where are you, ringtail lemurs? And then we look at uh, interspecies enrichment. They like sharing with red roughed lemurs. So, that is what we're going to do, and I think that's what we're going to do first. So, am I going to let it run? I guess I'm going to let it run. Now, the first thing I've got to, I'm going to have to do... Actually, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm going to pause it, because the first thing I'm going to have to do is get rid of the lemurs that we've got. So, let's have a look. The lemurs that we've got at the moment 
Um, I want to go to, let, let's see, um, I want to go to animals, and then I want to go to animal management. I think that's the easiest, yeah. So now over here, you can select multiple animals, all right, and then you can move them, or do what the hell you want. Now, can I release them to the wild? I get zero points for releasing them to the wild. So in actual fact, let's go back to that. All right, just do it from here, animal management, here we go. Uh, it would be better to just sell them. So all of you lot, sorry. I wish, I wish you could just sell them rather than send them to the trade center and then you've got to sell them. So, you know, you know what, I'm going to be good because like money shouldn't be too much of a problem and I've got loads of points. So, you know what, I'm just going to release them to the wild. All of you, you're all free. Release them to the wild. All the lemurs have gone. Right, now that, we, now that we've emptied the enclosure, we can bring in our new, uh, our new animals. Now, <laughs> this is the only problem, because I've bought a fair few of these. Um, I've got, I've got a, a pair of aardvarks, a pair of bared tapirs, and look, they're all gold and silver and whatever. And then I've got a load of red roof lemurs and ringtail lemurs. One male and, uh, and a bunch of females in, uh, in, each, in each group. And then the other, thing, uh, the other thing I've got, if I go back... Uh, I got a couple of Chinese pangolins, which are very, very cool. And I've got to decide whether I'm going to put them in, in rep uh, to replace the, the wild dogs. Or, I go to the end, I've got a couple of snow leopards. And I've got some, I've got some fairly decent animals. This one, this, um, this female, she's a little bit low on the, on the longevity gene. So I made sure that this guy's, um, like okay on the level along empty gene, so they should kind of cancel each other out. Um, this one's a bit low on size. This one's okay on size, so hopefully that'll be a good breeding pair. So I think we're going to put them in. But right now, why don't I get out of that? Right now, I've got to transfer all of these, um, all of these guys, into into this pen. Now, I can't find a way to do them like multiple ones, so I'm gonna have to move them. Um, one by one. So, let me get them put in. Okay, that's all of them moved now. So, I can't wait. I can't wait for this. This is going to be potentially quite epic. Come on, yeah, go on, run around there. Oh, now, there is one thing I want to do. Uh, how's the money? We're at 30,000. I want to get um, another research building going. Oh, come on, put, put the lemurs in. Here we go. And here come the lemurs. Oh, look. These are the uh, the red roofed lemurs. Oh, look at them. And I, I can't wait to see how they interact with the uh, with the ringtail lemurs. When when the ringtail lemurs get get pulled in. Look, our mechanic is working on it. Hooray. That's good news. Uh while they're, while they're, it's going to take them a while to bring those in. So while they're doing that, I'm going to go to facilities and staff facilities, and I'm going to get another research. Where's the uh, staff room? Ah, research, small. Let's flip you around this way. And now, you know what? Can I line this up the way I did before? Actually. Oh... That will do. Okay, so what I want is um, is I want a vet researching in each of these, and then I want another research a vet to actually take care of the animals. So I need to go into staff, and I need to hire two more vets because we've only got one vet at the moment. Cletus Cletus Bygrave. So we want a uh, vet hire and another one. Cool. Then we can go into zoo, we can go into vet research, and we want somebody. Zoe, you look after the research in the red roof lemurs. And then Cletus is going to be working. No, go back. Go back. Thank you. Uh, Cletus is going to be working on the, the ring-tailed lemurs. Cool. And that leaves Betsy 
to look after the animals. How are we doing in here? Oh, they're bringing some more. Oh, look. We've, we've got some ringtail lemurs now. Oh, look at them. We've got loads. <laughs> oh, and they, they're using the climbing frame. Oh, abs look. Look. They're all over it. They're loving it. Okay, what we need to do now is uh, enrich their environment a bit because at the moment they're not going to be they're going to be okay but they're not going to be staggeringly happy see we need some enrichment so we are going to put in let's see what can we do we want um not no no, no i want habitat and i want to set this up for we want ring-tailed lemurs and red roof lemurs okay so what do they want well, a feeding area will be... You know what? I, I really need to set this up so that it's... Um, if I go into... Uh, so that we, I, we want it during daylight because it's too dark to see anything. Don't you think? So I need to go... Now, how do I do... Where do I do this? I need to set the, um, the hours. Oh, here's the opening hours. Right, so we'll change it. So we'll open at, let's say, 8 in the morning. And we'll close at... Maybe eight at night, just before it starts to get too dark. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Hooray, let's crank it up again. Oh, look, look, they're all over it. They're all over it, the levers. They absolutely love it. <laughs> and so do I. Oh, are you guys happy? Let's see. Oh, come here. Why can't I click on you? And oh, yeah, they just need some enrichment. Oh, hang on, stress. An animal is stressed and trying to hide. Ooh, okay. In that case, we may have to give them somewhere where they can actually go and hide. Oh, I hadn't thought about that with the lemurs. All right. Anyway, um, let's give them some. Let's give them some stuff then. So, what was what were we doing? Uh, I want to put in. I was going to say I want to encourage them to come up here, but. I, I kind of don't think we need to. I was going to put, um, you know what, we should move one of these, one of these feeding platforms. Uh, let's move that. Uh, if it'll fit. And it will. Hooray. Should I put it at an angle? Yes, yeah, let's have it at an angle like that. It's fine. Okay. What the hell happened there? <laughs> uh, okay, let's unbox all animals. There we go. Come back, come back. Okay, so what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was putting it. I was trying to put in some enrichment stuff. So I was thinking of putting in a forage box down here. That allows them to forage. Is the is the simple way to put it? And if I turn it around that way, I kind of want it there. I think I'm going to have to move this first. Um, let's move that out of the way a little bit, and hopefully there'll be enough room. Oh, maybe. Is there enough room to get the guard? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, oh, hang on. There is a spot just there. That'll have to do then. And let's see. Has that given them a little bit of enrichment? Let's go down. Oh, social. Oh, they've got severe social. It's the stress because they can't hide. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'll give them somewhere that they can hide. In that case, I should probably pause this while I'm, uh, while I'm doing this. So, um, but they've got an interspecies bonus of 20%, which is nice. Uh, food enrichment, they're liking it already. Let's see if we can't get this uh, cranked up. Let's give them um, a block of uh, frozen fruit. Let's put that up there. Uh, there's a block of ice. Cardboard boxes. I mean, animals love playing with cardboard boxes. Let's give them a couple of those to play with. Maybe one over there. And one over this side. And what else we got for, for them? We can give them, we can give them some balls to play with. Let's have, uh, let, me, let me put that one over there. Oh, a small fixed roller feeder. That'll give them some more 
food enrichments. Well, Although food enrichments, we're, we're already done. But I'm going to put a couple of these in anyway. Try and encourage them to come to the to the front over here. Uh, one there and one there. What else can we put in for them? I think I think now I can actually let this run. Oh, they're much happier, much happier. Stress has gone down. Oh, stress is going away. Good news. Let's get get let's give them some more toys and stuff then. Um, what the hell is this? A suspended forager. That's more food enrichment. We really want toy enrichment. But the, we haven't got any other toys for them at the moment. Um, a sprinkler might be a good idea. Let's maybe put um, put a sprinkler in over there. Maybe one down the front. Maybe one over this side as well. No, that'll allow them to cool down a bit. Uh, toy enrichment. What? I mean... I don't want to keep putting in just like the same, like, like loads and loads of the same toys. But maybe another suspended forager somewhere. Maybe over here. Okay, we're 65%. So overall, oh, you're at 95%. We've got happy lemurs by the looks of it. Let's have a look at you. Too few adults and juveniles in the animal's social group. Really? Okay, that I'm surprised about because... There's a, there's a bunch of them. Let's have a look at the enclosure. So if we look at the enclosure, we've got eight red rough lemurs and 11 ringtail lemurs. Well, you know what? Hopefully they will breed, but I might need to pick up um, another couple of uh, female lemurs. You know what? Let's, let's just have a quick look. We'll have a quick look and see if I can very rapidly pick up... Um, Let's see, what do I want? I want ring uh, red ruffle lemurs. So, let's see. Uh, you, I've got to say, you're not too bad. You know what? I'm going to adopt you, and I'm going to adopt you. Boom. What are you like? You're a bit old. I mean, seven years old is fine. They live about... Um, I think the ringtail lemurs live about 21 years, and the... The, the red ruffle lemurs are about 28, I think. So have a look. Um, red ruffle lemurs, species data. Yeah, the ringtail lemurs live about 21 years. And if I go down, red ruffed lemurs, 26. I said 28, 26. So, yeah, it's fine. Let's get, oh, we've got some boxed animals. Unbox all animals. Let them loose. Uh, was that what was causing the, the, the stress? I wonder. Let's have a look. How are you? Oh, now they're fine. Now it was because they were boxed up. That was what was causing the problem. But you know what? We can we can bring those other couple of uh, lemurs in. Why the hell not? Let's have a look at the animals again. So we've got we've got eight red ruff lemurs. Now why are you only showing me the red ruff lemurs? Oh, here's the ring ring tied lemurs. Uh, but it's not showing me the. So that's the ringtail lemurs. No, sorry, the, the red roof lemurs. But I want to see the same. Oh, I've got to scroll it down. There you go. There's always an answer. All right, sweet. Now we, I can get them up to uh, grade two food quality. So let's move them up to grade two food quality. And we'll do. Oh, I can't get them up to. I can't get the red roof up to level two yet. Let's go have a look at the challenges quickly. So increase the average habitat special, sp habitat species overall welfare to 68%. And we've beaten it. Hooray, claim the reward. And reduce crime, have no crime for three months. Yes, we can claim that. Next, uh, adopt two different exhibit species. We'll get to exhibits. Oh, the money's going up. Oh, it's flying in, in actual fact. That is perfect. All right, cool. I'm very happy with this. So let's have a look. Uh, what's this? Uh, there's a visiting player. Hello there. Always yelling. We've got... Oh, we've got... Our aardvarks aren't happy. Oh, okay. We need some enrichment for the aardvarks. Let's get, let's get that done. Let's leave the lemurs for a minute and pay attention to our aardvarks. What do I want? Aardvarks. Um, we can put in... What do we want? 
We want food and toy enrichment. So we can put in a large barrel feeder. Um, let's put that over there. And maybe a small ball for them to play with. Yeah, maybe another one over here. Now they want different types of toys. We can put in uh, a couple of sprinklers for them, which is probably not a bad idea. Give them an opportunity to cool down. Let's put, let's put one over there, put one over there, and like one over there. There we go. Oh, and they're stressed out. Oh, no, he's reducing his stress because he's going to hide. So welfare is going up. So they can hide. So that's good. And we're 100% on the enrichment and stuff. Welfare, 84 and going up. But it's just the stress of, of people looking at them that they don't really like. So, you know what? Let's, um, let's help them out. Let's help them out, maybe. Let's get rid of that. Let's go into terrain. And maybe... Oh, let's push. I'll oh, pull. Maybe we just bring this out a little bit more to give them an area where they can actually go and not be seen. Like that. So there you go. You can actually go in there and hide now if you get stressed. Oh, he's playing on the rocks. Oh, good man. All right. <laughs> oh, God, this is so good. Uh, right, so always yelling is still here. Hope you're having fun looking around. We've got... Okay, most of the, most of the stuff's gone away. Uh, block of frozen food. Oh it, oh, it can't be reached. Uh, oh, and the arboreal feeding platform can't be reached. So... Okay. So I guess we're going to have to move. Oh, I want the block of fruit. There we go. Let's put the block of fruit. I don't know. Let's put it down there. Oh, now that's obstructed. Oh, where? Oh, let's just put it down there. That's fine. And this, where on earth... Are we going to put that? I don't think we actually need that anymore. So, you know what? I think I'm just going to get rid of it. There we go. And look. I've boxed my animals up again. And box all the animals. Okay. We need more toys. I'm hoping we're going to get some research. Here we go. Cha-ching. We've got research for red rough lemurs. We've got 14 new items over those species. Woo! Yeah, keep recent. We're up to level 8 on the ring-tailed. Level 4 on the red-roofed. So, let's go back to habitat. What else can we give them? Uh, not aardvark. We want... Red-roofed. And ring-tailed. Okay, so what have we got for them now? Uh, doesn't look... I mean... <laughs> I don't think there's anything different in there, is there? You know what? Let's look at just ring-tailed. No. Oh, yes. A mirror mobile. Oh, let's put that. I wonder if we can put it in like somewhere over here. It would be good. No. Uh, I can put it over there. You know what? Let's pop that in over there. Oh, toy enrichment's 100% now. Sweet. Okay, they're pretty happy. What's wrong with happy though? Oh, cleanliness. All right. I think we need to hire a couple of cleaners. Because there's a lot of animals producing a lot of poop. So what do we want? Zoo. No, oh, what's this? Research. More research. Hooray. Bring tailed lemur. Another three items. Awesome. Oh, we are. We're done. Okay, in that case, let's uh, let's get some more aardvark research going on. Cletus, research aardvarks, please. All right. Habitat cleanliness is a, is a disease risk. Okay, so what do I want? I want zoo, and I want staff. What do we want? Uh, caretakers. So I think probably, like, one, two more caretakers. Yeah. Let's try that. So what we want is to... Uh, I was going to say call the cleanliness 
Hopefully they should. Oh, here we go. Look. He's going around. Vacuuming up the poop. Look. Oh, and we get into, hopefully, a poop-free zone. But we've got some diseased animals. Because I wasn't on that quick enough. Hopefully the vet will sort them out. Yep, yeah, but that's clean now. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. And it's <laughs> tipping it down with rain. What uh, What else do I need? To oh, we've got our little... Look, we've got our little baby tapir. I, I should keep more... I'll pay more attention to this stuff. Oh, protesters have arrived at the zoo. Oh, you know what? If we go down here and look at the negative effects, maybe I can show you now. So, if there's any protesters... Oh, no, they've gone. No, the protesters have gone. There's no... You'll see them as big red areas like this, if there is uh, any walking around. So, we had... We had the offspring. And, oh, one of our red roughed lemurs is expecting. And one of our ringtail lemurs is expecting. And Kondo has now matured. Now, yeah, our aardvarks are going to be fighting. So we need to we need to stop that. You know what? Pause for a second. Right, you. Um, Kondo's a male. Okay. We need to get rid of the other... In fact, you know what? Let's get rid of both of them. So let's go to animal... What is this called? The animal something screen? Animal management screen? Uh, we want to get rid... We want to keep Kondo, I think. Uh, but we want to get rid of Alani and Madzimayo. Okay, fine. I am going to send them to the trade centre. Hooray. Go. Go. On. Okay, yeah, move to the trade centre. Let that run. Get out of that. Go away. Go away. Thank you. <laughs> God. Still learning the controls. So, Kondo. Come here. There we go. Oh, he's injured. I have to call the vet. Let's uh, call the vet. Get here. Poor Kondo. Let's have a look at his, uh, his genetics. He's, um, you know what? He's actually not bad. He's not bad. But I'm not sure that he's as good as um he's got three thousand appeal i'm not sure he's as good as the two aardvarks that i've got in here now um you we're going to tr quick trade you oh almost a thousand nice uh so yeah you're going to go and alani you're going to go a okay, thousand for alani confirm so yeah, you're better. So, what we should do is we should move you into this enclosure. And I'm going to move the other aardvark into this enclosure. Whoops, where are you? Vamani. Move you into this enclosure. And then I'm going to go to Zoo and Condo. I, I should pause while I'm doing this. So, what I want to do... I, like, ideally, is um, is release you to the wild, I think. Uh, but there's no... Oh, it's because the animal's injured. Ah, okay. In that case... Huh. In that case, what I should do is send the other male back when the other male gets shipped in. Somebody going to bring the other male down? Yeah, here he comes. Let's have a quick look at Kondo. Is he still still injured? Yeah, he's still injured. So you, I'm afraid you're going to have to go back. Uh, so what do I want to do? I want to move you. Yeah, move you back to the trade centre. Until Kondo gets healed. As soon as Kondo gets healed up. Where's he gone? Where's Kondo gone? Kondo, where are you? Oh, no, that's a ball. Where's Kondo gone? Is he hiding in the grass or something? Let's see. <laughs> Kondo is in hiding. You know what? Let's uh, grab this. And what do I want to look at? Aardvark. Oh, there's only one aardvark in there. Okay, hang on a second. So, is, is, did Kondo somehow get shipped? Kondo. He's in, tram he's in transit to Habitat 3. Huh. 
Okay, I'm going to say move him. Oh, here he is. How did he get moved? So, okay, Kondo is not injured anymore. So now, release animal to the wild. If I release him to the wild, I'll get 267 um, conservation points. So I can either do that or I can trade him. And I'm not sure which I want to do at the moment. So I think what we'll do is I'll send him to the trade center. So put him into storage in the trade center. We'll bring in our new aardvark, which is, which is you. Look, he's awesome, Bomani. So Bomani, uh, let's move you into here. There we go. All right, sweet. So we've now got two awesome aardvarks in here. Hopefully they'll start breeding. Uh, at, look at our baby tapir, tapir. Oh, we've got Habitat 2 needs cleaning. I'm, I'm thinking maybe we need another cleaner because it's not good when that happens. But this, it was Habitat 2, wasn't it? So Habitat 2. Yeah, is, have they fixed it? See, we've got, we're, we're getting we're getting diseases amongst the animals. Let's get another cleaner. We're still making tons of cash. So what the hell? If we're making loads of money, let's get a couple. Uh, that's no, that's a keeper. Yeah, let's get a couple more caretakers. Boom, boom. Now hang on, it is it is the um, the caretakers that sweep up, or is it the keepers? Because if it's the keepers, then I need another keeper. That's a good point. Oh, and there we go. Hey, and it's light again. There was much rejoicing. In that, you know what? In case it's the keepers, because I'm thinking it might be the keepers. I'm gonna have to watch and see when they're when they're, sweep, when they're vacuuming up. Uh, but I'm gonna hire another keeper because we're making loads of cash, so it's a good idea. There you go. We have another keeper. All right. Okay. Let's have a look at the research and make sure we're keeping up with that. Vet research. So we're done with them. We're doing red ruff limbers and aardvarks. Good. What's going on here? Can't find an accessible staff room with space. Oh, we've got so many people now. We need another staff room. Oh, <laughs> good grief. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, facilities. Uh, Planet Zoo keep uh, staff room small. Uh, where's the best place for this? I think just in there would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe put those two buildings to just together. There we go. Hooray. So that should make them happy. Uh, we've got a ring-tailed lemur with low welfare. What's up? Oh, you're stressed because you've got nowhere to hide. Okay. Let's do, let's do something about this. Um, they, they want a place where they can go, which is out of the view or out of sight of the public so maybe we'll create them a little place where they can go what do i want to do um I, i'm kind of wondering if i can maybe make something uh, where's like a, a corrugated wall what's this this is metal planks i mean we could do something as simple as just create them a, a little area where they can go and be um, and be out of sight, or I mean, I mean, really, that I can't think of another alternative to be honest with you. So maybe let's just put in a little area, and maybe oh, I can't rotate that round. Can I go into special? No. Well, that at least gives them somewhere to go and hide. What, what else? What else could we put in? Hmm. Hey, you know what? Let's have a look at um, habitat. I mean, other than actually, like, creating something that they can hide behind out of... It's 
So if I move that, I could put that there, and then that would kind of shield them a little bit. You know what? That's probably not a bad idea. Let's uh, let's move this water to somewhere else. Let's move it. Oh, good lord! <laughs> I've run out of space. Oh, hang on. It'll go there. That's fine. In that case, let's try putting in one of these climbing ramps here, like that. Now, that should protect them from view a bit. So they've got some places where they can go where they're, where they're out of sight. Maybe, um... Hmm. I was thinking of putting one over here, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Let's, let's let them... Oh, and now we'll, they all get boxed up every time I change the... Every time I change the environment, they get all boxed up. But now they're looking okay. What about you? Yep. Not stressed out. Looking good. What about you down there? Yeah, happy. Yeah, now they've got a private area. They seem to be um, they seem to be pretty much over the moon. Let's go around here to our aardvarks. You happy? Yes, you're nice and happy. Oh, plants. Plant type and coverage is severely inappropriate for this animal. What? Oh, we've got too much coverage. All right, let's get rid of this stuff behind here then. So, get rid of you, and you, and you, and you, and you. You know, I thought the elephant grass would be fine, but it's not. So look. Oh, and now you're 100% happy. Hooray, we've got blooming happy aardvarks and that makes me very happy oh what's the what's the oh hello we've got five stars five stars three stars five stars so habitat four uh, and i'm pretty sure this is habitat four with the wild dogs you know what these wild dogs they've, they've got to go unfortunately it's um it's a shame but it is what it is so let's go to let's go to zoo Oh, hello. Research completed. We've got more stuff for the lemurs and for the aardvarks. God, I, this is awesome. It's so... Guys, don't play this. It's so ridiculously addictive. It's awesome. What, what was I doing? Uh, we want to get... Yeah. These African wild dogs. Send them to the trade center. Move them to the trade center. And we're going to sell them. So, you. Quick trade. And let's see, African Wild Dog, quick trade. Confirm. Okay, that's guys, guys, gone. Right, so I've got these um, these two fairly awesome tapirs, and I suppose we should swap them out as well. So I waited till Kondo had grown up because I didn't want to take his parents away while while he was still a baby. That would have been mean. Um, are you still a baby? You're still a baby. I mean, he's one and a half now. You know, we're going to have to have a talk about your parents. Oh, he's pl oh, they're playing with the ball. Or oh, with the mother with the feeder. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, your parent. We're going to swap out your parents for some better ones. Is that all right? Because these two are like a bit average. So it's what it's like. See, like really, really lousy genetics. Um, tell me look at your genetics I didn't look yeah see you're you're not that great either <laughs> you're going to have to get shipped out that's such a shame I, I feel really bad I, why do I feel bad it's a game I do feel bad about it though what do we want to do we want these um, yeah go to animal management we want you to which his names I can't pronounce and Send him to the trade center. Okay, move to the trade center. And then we'll go to animal trading and we'll get the, the, the two awesome ones. Move you in here and you move you in here. Hooray. And then these two, I'm sorry. They're like, no, don't separate us from our children. No, I'm sorry. It is what it is though. Uh, we're gonna quick trade you, confirm. And we're going to quick trade you. All right. And they're gone. 
Uh, and it is what it is. And it's a shame. I know. It's a shame. It's a horrific shame. Let's see. My God, look at the cues. You know what I should do? I should go into the gulpy. And I should say, where is it? Prices. Uh, Synchronised costs to all shops. And the same with Chief Beef. Prices, synchronised costs to all shops. And I should do that with the Information Centre as well. Synchronise, where is it? It's all the way to, yeah, synchronised costs to all shops. And the same with Lonely Balloons. What do I want to do here? Oh, I'm going to go down here. And synchronised costs to all shops. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. Okay, uh, yeah, is it the same with the, I'm guessing, is it the same with the toilet blocks? Uh, oh, yes, synchronised prices. There we go. Cool. So that's all set. Oh, man, do I put in an information and uh, a loony balloons over here? I'm kind of thinking, because, it, you know, I can actually show it to you. For, like, for any of you who haven't seen the building. Oh, we've got some more stuff going on. Oh, research. We've got more research for the Red Ruff Lemurs and the Aardvarks. Okay, you know what? Let's let's do let's do them first. So Aardvarks. What what else can we give to the Aardvarks? Habitat. Oh, it's Ringtail Lemur. Let's do the Lemurs first then. Uh, where's the Lemurs? Lemurs are over here. What else can we get? Although I think we were weren't we up to a hundred percent? I think we were. But uh, species and where are they? Red roof Lemurs. There you go. So what else? What else is the four you got? Oh hello. Oh a musical keyboard. <laughs> Oh, God, yeah. God, I give him a... Uh, I want to see Lemus playing the piano, don't you? Do you I'm just, I think I'm just going to put one of those in. How, how are you guys? You, you're feeling pretty happy, generally. So, look, 95%. What about the... Yeah, they're perfectly blooming happy in here. We have got a very, very happy set of Lemus. What's going on here? Vet research is complete. What have we got now? Oh, more stuff for ringtail lemurs. Cool. Let's go. Let's go check out the aardvarks then. So what? What else? Wait, were they happy though? Were they already happy? I think they were already happy. Yeah, they're already happy. What I should? Oh, I'd forgotten. What I should do is um is the food. Where do I do the feeding? Oh, here we go. Food quality two, increased ice of food quality two. I want to do the same with the red roof lemurs. My God, there is so much to pay attention to. Yes, we can, in fact, we can get them up to grade three, but I think we'll ship them up to grade two. Uh, and let's just check on nutrition. See, last meal quality was 50%. If we check the ringtail lemurs, because they've been getting grade two food, uh, you, oh, so your last meal quality was 100%. All right, so I think just upping them to grade two solves the problem. We need to do the same for the bed tapirs as well. Um, but I haven't researched them yet, have I? No, I haven't. Oh, more research completed. Hooray. So I think... Oh, you know what? We did do We did do a book, some research. Let's have a look. Can we... Can we... Improve. Yes, I can get them up to grade two food as well. Oh man, we have got a happy little zoo going on. Let's have a look at the challenges. Food profits, earn a yearly food profit of 3,000. Done that, claim the reward. Conservation, increase conservation rating to one stars. I need to start releasing animals into the wild. Uh, but I think we're gonna start seeing some serious breeding going on. Let's have a look at the notifications. Uh, so, Yottle has matured. Oh, you've matured. Uh, let's go and have a look. You've matured. We need to get rid of you then. Because you'll be fighting. Oh, and you're bronze. Yep, I'm st you're still getting shipped out. So, uh, what am I going to do with you? That's the thing. Do I sell you or... What about... Let's try and release Animal to the Wild. Yeah, let's, let's release him to the wild. What the hell? Oh, oh, this is actually quite good. Go on then. Release, release, Yottle. Shame his name didn't begin with an R. Right, hooray, that's gone. Um, 
Offspring. That's a conception. Yeah, animal trading, animal trading, offspring. Oh, our lemurs are starting to have babies. We've got a baby lemur. So here he had about. Oh my god, that looks like. Yes! I think we've been. I think they've been. Have they been having babies? Uh, ringtail lemur, ringtail lemur. Oh my god, they're having babies left, right, and center. Uh, you know what? How many how many animals are in here now? Oh my lord! Uh, we've got ten and thirteen ringtail lemurs. Wow! Let's have a look. We have got. Does it? Does it? It doesn't tell you. It tells you how many males and females, but it doesn't tell you how many like juveniles you've got. And I really wish this would scroll properly. So thirteen animals. Oh, 13 animals, but it doesn't, oh, uh, yeah, if I look there, see, this is a juvenile, you can see, because it's still in the juvenile stage, so, Falana, is that, where are you, oh, you're the, oh, God, you're so, oh, my God, you're so tiny, oh, that is one tiny, tiny little lemur, oh, you are the cutest thing in the world, Oh, look at you, aren't you blooming freaking adorable? Oh, the and the people are lapping it up. I tell you, we must be making a fortune from these donation boxes here. He's hiding a little bit. You're going to go and have a climb? He's like, no, no, I'm shy. I just want to hide behind here. I'm going to have a little run to the other one. And now I'm feeling brave. I'm going to go out into the open. Oh, that was poop. Oh, okay. Underwater lemur. You can have a swim. No, I'm, I'm going to hide. I'm going to hide up to my nose in the water. <laughs> oh my God. Seriously, guys, this is so damn good. It's crazy how good this is. Oh, and then somebody's play. Look. Okay. Get, get out of there. Because oh, this isn't going to be irritating at all. A monkey playing the piano. Go on, play. Play with it. He's like, no. Not if you're going to watch. I was just practicing. Come back when I'm ready to do a recital. Uh, Ollie has had offspring. And uh, we've got another baby lemur. Oh my god. We are going to be up to our blooming necks in lemurs. I want to check the donation boxes and see. Like, uh, Look at this. 2,800, 2,100, 2,500. Oh, not much over. Th you know what? That is, amazes me. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's night time. What about this one? Is this one the same? Yeah, nothing in that one. Not Nothing in that one. 1,000, 120 in that one. I'm wondering if I should put another hard shelter over here. What do you think? You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to move that tree into the corner. And I'm going to put another hard shelter over here. And try and get them to spread out a bit. Might, uh, I don't know whether we'll get more donations from it. But it's got to be worth a try, hasn't it? Habitat. What do we want? Uh, we want a shelter. It doesn't have to be a huge one over here. Let's see. What was, what, that's, the, that's the big one. That's not what I put in. That's the... I want the... Eight, ah, there we go. 8 by 4 by 2 Basic wooden shelter. 8 by 4 by 2 8 by... What? Those are the same thing. That'll do. Let's... Rotate you a little bit. And then move you away from the fence a little bit as well. There we go. And then we want some uh, we want some bedding in there, don't we? That's extra large, uh, mediums probably. Um, there we go. So 
So it'd be interesting to see if they start to migrate over here a bit now. Now they've got some more shelter over here. What are you? Come on, come play over here. But they're very happy, and I tell you what, the whole making your animals happy thing is so addictive. I wish it didn't rain so much here. This is supposed to be North America. We've got more research done. What have we done now? Oh, more on the red. We've almost finished with the red roofed lemur. And we're getting on with the aardvark. Uh, the next thing to do is going to be to get some uh, mechanic research going on. And start unlocking new stuff for the park. Guys, you know what? We're going to leave it there for this episode. Um, I was going to show you how to put this together. You know what? If you, I think you guys know how to put stuff together. Um, if you want to see me put together this building, but for the um, for the other two, the info and the balloons, then let me know. If you're like, nah, it's fine. We've we've seen people build this stuff, so just like get on with the animals. Then um, then leave me a comment. Vet research is complete. We have completed research for the aardvark. We've done. We've com absolutely completed it for the, the both the lemurs. So we can now get somebody. Yes, uh, Zoe, get onto get onto the tapirs. Find out more about them. Man. Okay. Next episode, you guys can decide. Do you want um, the Chinese pangolins in here, or do you want snow leopards? If, like, if you've got an opinion, leave me a comment. I'll just show them to you so that you know what, what we're looking at. So this is, the, um, this is the Chinese pangolin. If you haven't seen them, I suppose I should show them to you. Chinese pangolin, where are we? So this is a Chinese pangolin. They're, they're, they're pretty weird. Uh, they're not the cutest thing in the world. So it's either those or snow leopards, which are staggering. And let's face it, little snow leopard cubs got to be the cutest thing on the planet. So, guys, uh, we'll leave it there. I, please, please tell me that you're enjoying this as much as I am. I've got to put in a, an extra board over here uh, and at the other end for the uh, red rough lemurs. You know what? I'm going to do that. Guys, get going. Comment. Leave comments. I will catch you for the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.